Hi loves, it's Mary and welcome back to the Kelly Closet. Today's video tutorial is going to be on these goddess boho braids on natural hair with no hair added. Guys, this style turned out so pretty, so, so pretty. Stay tuned for this tutorial. If you enjoy hairstyle videos like this, then you can hit the red subscribe button below. You can also hit the bell for notifications. That way you'll be updated every single time I upload a new video and enjoy. I started out with blow dried hair just because fi I find it easier to braid that way. And these are the things that I used. This double buttercream by As I Am for moisturizing. Um, I used two different edge controls. You can also use a stronghold gel, a spray bottle with water, a rat tail comb, um, some kind of hair clips, hair bands. I personally like these ones from Swirly Curly because my hair ends up sometimes breaking bands. <laughs> um, but with these, I can put them back together, some clips, all of that good stuff. I started out with one horizontal parting at the back. You can make them as big or as small as you like. I personally started with this fairly big at the back i don't mind too much because the hairs above are gonna cover them over anyway um now i'm going to show you this in more detail a little later but this is the basic process so you start out with one braid or plait and then as you go down you plait down a little way and then you take out one small piece of hair you hold it in your lips or you can just use a clip to clip it away somewhere i just prefer to hold it in my mouth it's a lot easier and then i continue to braid down i counted about 10 or 12 tens of my hand if that makes sense and then i take out another small piece and then i continue to braid now for me i used um, i took out about three strands per plait or braid Honestly, you can use as many or as few as you like. Personally, I prefer three. I just think it kind of makes the style look full, but not too full. But there are some instances where I either forgot or I put one too many. So I have some that have four. I have some that have only one if it's just a small plait. It just depends on how full I want that particular area to be. But generally I did three. So you can see here I'm continuing to plait all the way down to the end. Um, there are some short pieces in here because this is a section of my hair that was my undercut is still growing out but it doesn't really matter if you have short pieces like me it will still turn out looking good. I have used some of the uh, edge control as um, some definition for the strands so you can see here these pieces need to be small as I've said to clump well together and then I've added a little at the ends of my hair just to add a bit of a curly end and that's one done you can see here that I am doing the next braid on the other side so for the back section I actually did three plaits or braids and then for the yes it does get stuck to your lips sometimes <laughs> it's, it's quite funny to me but yeah that's just a part of the the process if you decide not to use a clip um and then you can see here the definition that is coming through with the edge control now you do not need to use edge control like me i just use edge control because i ran out of stronghold gel but it helps if you have a stronghold gel or some kind of thick edge control some kind of thick defining product I'm not going to recommend soft hold gel for type 4 hair, uh, it's it's not going to work, not the way that you really want it to. If you think about this style, it's almost like having a set of braids or plaits and then mixing it with a wash and go. So you need something that's really going to hold and define your hair and I'm going to recommend if you have type 4 hair like me that you do not make these strands too big. You can see I'm kind of trying to pick out strands and see is this too large, is this too small and if it's too large then I try to um, redo the strands so that I have less hair because for my hair type and texture if I take out strands that's too big they're not going to be defined the way that you want them to be and then it's not gonna end up clumping and looking the way that the style is supposed to look. 
and for some bits you can see that I've actually um, added water to my hair just to make it damp just to help to define my curls properly because yeah I can't just put edge control or, or gel on my hair and expect it to <laughs> to curl up it doesn't work that well my, it works better if my hair is damp um, some bits are going to look a bit stringy but don't worry about that they will curl up by the end of the tutorial and yes of course any extra I just put at the front of my hair because you know hey it's edge control right so this is my progress so far. At this point, I was very, very happy with my progress. The plaits are not perfect. That doesn't matter. They're falling the way I want them to fall. And then now I've switched to the front. So for this section, I've done three plaits for the first row. So the next row, I'm going to do four. This is just something that I do so that my plaits fall in the way that I want them to fall. So the first row I'll do three, then the next one I'll do four, then the next one I'll do five, and so on. And so I'm just showing you here, this is what I've done with this uh, section at the front. Again, my hair is a little bit shorter here than the rest. My undercut is still growing out. Here I take out a small, very small section of hair. It's a little bit too long for me to, a little bit too short, sorry, for me to put it in my mouth. So I just tried to kind of like hold it out of the way with my fingers. Trust me, this was a challenge, okay? <laughs> but when I got to a certain point, I just let it go. Again, I um, add some water. I just twist around my finger a bit for the ends and try to define that section. And then I carry on from there. Now, when I get to the end of this row, I actually plait the last plait or braid going backwards because I want some of the braids from that section to fall backwards again to cover up the crazy parts at the back. I just find it a little bit easier to work this way and it ends up that the plaits fall just the way that I want them to if I just take the last section from that row and plait it backwards. Again, you can see here, I've actually done four small strands instead of three. I, I did this by accident, but it really doesn't matter too much. Now, at this point, I was feeling myself. I was like, okay, am I going to do like a, a deep part? Am I going to do this part section going down or should I do it going up? I decided to do it going up. Uh, babe decided to jump in yes I was listening to music we were just here <laughs> having a fun time with each other and this essentially is the look so personally for these styles I like to set my hair overnight so I slept on my style in the morning I got up I did my edges my hairline um, I refreshed my hair with some water and some soft hold gel to just bring my curls back to life and I was so, so happy with how this turned out. This is a really beautiful style, especially for the hot weather that we're having right now in London. I'm just showing you the back so you can see how the braids have now fallen backwards. So they're covering up those not so great parts. <laughs> I'm, I spent extra time to define the and partings at the front because I wanted it to look like the way it looks when you do it with braids or crochet braids and essentially that is the style. If you enjoyed this video then hit the thumbs up button below, share with a friend, let me know in the comment section below if you have tried this style, how you found it or if you will try it, let me know how it went. Wishing you health, happiness and beautiful hair. I'll see you again soon on The Curly Closet. Take care.